Good morning. We've made it to Friday, August the 11th, 2017. Wishing my father-in-law, George Richards, Papa, a happy 88th birthday. We're blessed to have you. Reading from My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald and Biddy Chambers. The experience must come, 2 Corinthians 2.12, and he saw him no more. I encourage you to read the whole chapter, but I'm going to read the first part. Now, when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. And Elijah said to Elisha, Tarry here, I pray you, for the Lord has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets who were in Bethel came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take away your master from over you? And he said, Yes, I know it. Hold your peace. Elijah said to him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray you, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. But he said, As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. The sons of the prophets who were at Jericho drew near to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that today the Lord will take away your master from over you? And he answered, Yes, I know it. Hold your peace. Then Elijah said to him, Terry, here I pray you, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on. Fifty men of the sons of the prophets also went and stood at some distance from them, and they both were standing by the Jordan. Then Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water. The water was parted to one side and to the other, till the two of them could go over on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you before I am taken from you. And Elisha said, I pray you, let me inherit a double share of your spirit. And he said, You have asked a hard thing, yet if you see me as I am being taken from you, it shall be so for you. But if you do not see me, it shall not be so. And as they still went on and talked, behold, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. And he saw him no more. It is not wrong to depend upon Elijah as long as God gives him to you. But remember the time will come when he will have to go, when he stands no more to you as your guide and leader, because God does not intend he should. You say, I cannot go on without Elijah. God says, you must. We face Jordan, Jericho, and Bethel alone. Alone at your Jordan, verse 14. Jordan is the type of separation where there is no fellowship with anyone else and where no one can take the responsibility for you. You have to put to the test now what you learned when you were with your Elijah. You have been to Jordan over and over again with Elijah, but now you are up against it alone. It is no use saying you cannot go. This experience has come, and you must go. If you want to know whether God is the God you have faith to believe him to be, then go through your Jordan 
alone. Alone at your Jericho, verse 15. Jericho is the place where you have seen Elijah do great things. When you come to your Jericho, you have a strong disinclination to take the initiative and trust in God. You want someone else to take it for you. If you remain true to what you learned with Elijah, you will get the sign that God is with you. Alone at your Bethel, verse 23. At your Bethel, you will find yourself at your wit's end and at the beginning of God's wisdom. You will find yourself at your wit's end and at the beginning of God's wisdom. When you get to your wit's end and feel inclined to succumb to panic, don't. Stand true to God, and he will bring his truth out in a way that will make your life a sacrament. Put into practice what you learned with your Elijah. Use his cloak and pray. Determine to trust in God and do not look for Elijah anymore. The hymn that came to mind is I Surrender All by Jordan Wheeler Van De Venter, 1896. Music by Winfield Scott Whedon. All to Jesus I surrender, all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live. I surrender all, I surrender all, all to thee my blessed Savior, I surrender all, all to Jesus I surrender Humbly at his feet I bow, worldly pleasures all forsaken. Take me, Jesus, take me now. I surrender all, I surrender. Savior, I surrender all. All to Jesus, I surrender. Make me Savior, holy thine. Let me feel the Holy Spirit. Truly know that Thou art mine, I surrender all, I surrender all. All to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all, all to Jesus, I surrender, Lord, I give myself to Thee. Fill me with Thy love and power. Let Thy blessing fall on me. I surrender all. I surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed 
blessed Savior, I surrender all. All to Jesus I surrender. Now I feel the sacred flame. Oh, the joy of full salvation. Glory, glory to his name. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Father, we thank you that you have given us Jesus, the abundant life giver that you just didn't give us a concept but you actually gave us your spirit which joins together with our spirit father bring us strength as we face those times alone at our jordan at our jericho and our bethel and let us realize that you do not limit the spirit you give us but that you give us all of you that you're all in on this experiment that you've created in us that will succeed. You've already called us righteous and blessed and holy. Father, let us realize the blessings that we received are not limited by you, but limited by us, by our willingness to say no to self and yes to you, by our willingness to accept your wisdom and guidance in saying no to our perspective, which we think we're so wise and all-knowing. Father, let us walk today humbly, providing justice in our actions and loving mercy for those who do not give us justice. Our wholeness and joy and strength comes from you. And through others, who are close to you. Father, let us pray for our brothers and sisters that we may, as a family of God, bring the kingdom of heaven to this sick and dying world. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>